When I heard of Tony Shea passing, this one question flooded my mind and body that I should ask myself, and I think everybody should ask themselves. So I was getting ready for bed and about to go take a shower, and I'm like, okay, let me go one last time on you know Facebook and check it out, which is not a good idea to do late at night. And I saw the news of Tony Shea passing away had just broken. And it was really shocking. He was only 46 years old, the founder of Zappos, this company that's really out there helping support his community in the world. And it was just a shock to me. And he was so young and, you know, what happened? And at the time, they didn't know, like, what the cause was. But at that same time, this question just came into me. And it said, "In if one year from now was your time to go, you got one year. In this next year, what do you want to be, do, create, and experience? What do you want to be, do, create, and experience in this next year? You know, what's the what's that book that you wanted to write that you've had the idea for for 5, 10, 15 years? What's that business that you wanted to start that you've had? What's that relationship you wanted to heal? Where's that country that you've always wanted to travel to, but you thought someday, some way, I'll do it? If you have one year from now to do what you want to do, what would you do? What would you want to create? What would you want to accomplish? Uh, what kind of person would you want to be on a day-to-day -day basis, running around flustered, you know, scrolling through your Facebook all day, you're kind of more peaceful, meditative. And what do you want to experience? What's what's some, you know, did you want to skydive? Do you want to scuba dive? What are those things that you always wanted to experience? And that question was great because it gives you a year. You got one year to do it. And, uh, you know, hopefully, obviously, it's not a real thing. But, you know, it's at some level, it's good to look at life like that, where you are going to have one year to, to accomplish this thing because you never know what's going to happen. Like nobody saw coronavirus coming. Everything shifted. Everything changed. A lot of people's lives changed. You don't know what's going to happen in a year from now. Life really is now, but um, don't wait to, to do or create or experience or accomplish that thing you wanted to do. Don't wait to do it. Do it now. Um, you know, plan for it. Obviously, with, with money, don't just burn all your money so in a year from now you're out of money, right? At some level, you got to still save and plan for the future at some level. But those someday things, those things that you like, I'll do that someday, let's do those now. Let's do those within the next year. And um, I like that more than saying um, live today as, as if it's your last day. Because if today was my last day, I would be calling all my friends, you know, and family and thanking them and loving them. I'd probably go to the beach and meditate or something like that. And I can't do that every single day. That's just not sustainable, right? But if you have a year, a year, what are the things that you're going to do? Uh, what are you going to, who are you going to be? What are you going to accomplish or create? And what are you going to experience in this next year? And uh, ask yourselves those questions and then go out there and do it. And it really, it really defines and helps focus on what you really want, what's really more important than these other things, which are cool ideas, think cool things to do, but not really what you want to do, what you want to be remembered for. Um, so focus is in, and I think that's a great question. So I asked myself that, I wrote down what I wanted to uh, be in those areas and um, let's go for it. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Please click the like and subscribe button below. Talk to you soon.